It is time to make Falcor. Here's the box he's gonna be in. So I have to make him fit. I think Falcor's base is gonna be tin foil and paper mache. And then I think I'm gonna do his face in polymer clay. So I made a little reference layout. Let's get the basic shape with the tin foil. I'm gonna go I'm with like Mr. Dragon. Falcor from the movie My if I can do it. Fal rather than the book. In the book, a luck dragon has a long graceful body with pearly pink and white scales and they have fangs and a luxurious mane and they're more like a lion head than the dog that was in the movie for my purposes i'm gonna go with the likeness to falcor from the movie i probably won't get it perfect this is a childhood memory and the first movie i thought he was like the sweetest little face so i'm gonna try to go with the sweet falcor face from the movie where he looks more like a puppy dog than a lion this tin foil is great it's very stiff tin foil some tin foil it doesn't like really give a good grip you know what i'm saying Looks like a rat. Basic body, innards, inner structure. I have this class cabochons and I'm gonna make eyes. I'm gonna go with brown. His eyes sometimes appear red, sometimes appear brown. I like the puppy dog brown the best. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna get a little bit of black, brown, and then some of this copper color. I forgot to hit record, but I just took a ball stylus, or some people call these, you can use them dotting tools, depending what craft you're using, but in the clay, it's like a ball stylus that you can do different shapes with. And I just took some paint, black paint, and dotted some circles. It gives a semi-round shape better that I can do by hand. We'll start with that, and then I'm gonna dry those. Now what I think I wanna do is mix a little bit of the brown and the gold together. I don't necessarily want it like completely mixed. I kind of want it to be marbly, I guess. It's okay if it goes over the black. This is the underside of the eye. We're doing the eye backwards. It's gonna go between the brown and the gold. And I'm... So then I'm gonna go back in with the darker brown all over it. I did these same type of eyes from Morla's eyes. So I picked the two I like the best. I'm gonna paint the rest of it white. It doesn't have to be perfect. This part's gonna be mostly hidden. You can print eyes too. If you don't want to paint your own eyes, you just print them. You can print them out on a piece of paper and then glue the paper to the back of these cabochons. I'm brainstorming how I want to start this face because he's got quite a snout. Kinda does look kinda liony. So we have the start of Falcor's face. I gave him a little pre-bake, save progress, because I didn't want to mush him anymore, but I can definitely add more clay to him. Removed him from my little background here, and I'm going to bulk out his head a little bit. So we have a basic cover of that tin foil. I'm gonna go with my paper mache method. Glue and water, I'm just gonna cover everything.
Okay, I just wanted to show you that I mixed some white paint in with this glue water mixture because I'm going to paint it all a white base underneath. If you're doing this, you can skip a step and add your paint right to the glue mixture. Here is what the first layer looks like. See, nothing much. Still looks like a rat. Okay, this looks really weird right now. What I'm doing is making a basic structure for his legs. But these are going to be his nails. I am making them out of cos clay. Dragon nails. And these are all pre-baked. So these are flexible. We have our claws baked, and then we have the star of Falcor's head. Now I'm just paper macheing his legs, and then I'll attach it to the rest of his body. Let that first coat dry. I'm working on elongating his snout a little bit. Got some advice from my friend Ashley. Give me some pointers. So it's another day and we have Falcor's head. I'm really happy with how he turns out. Again, I'm not going for exact because I don't think I could do that. Here is his base. So the rest of it's going to be fur and whatnot that I glued to it. But this guy's all made out of polymer clay, baked. And I think he's ready for a layer of paint and then the hair and the ears. But I'm gonna set him aside and work on the body. And then I can attach him when I get to that point. Falcor has that bumpy scale back that's kind of sequiny. So I have the sequins. My mermaid, I cut out individual scales, but I don't know if I wanna do that. Cause I'm going to also add the sequins. Hmm, so many thoughts here, so many decisions zoom in on his scales here and see. I wish I had the teardrop shape sequins, but I don't. And I feel like I want more than just the sequins here. Or do I? To be continued. I've got lots of ideas and I, now I need to figure out which one I'm going to use. I'm going to brainstorm a little bit and get back to you. Felcor, his first coat of white. Here is Felcor, all painted white. And the next step is to add the hair. I'm wicked nervous because. Never give up and good luck will happen. find you. But I'm gonna go ahead and add the hair. I'm gonna work on his head because he's a solid piece. The body needs to dry from the paper mache and I can start working on his hair. So crossing fingers that it doesn't, I still think no matter what he's gonna look like the never ending story luck dragon. Maybe not exactly Falcor, but we're gonna get the gist, I think. Let's go ahead and start adding some fur to Falcor. So to make his, we are using this faux fur. This is like a, I think it's supposed to be a blanket, not a blanket, a rug, a faux fur like throw rug. And I bought it because I think the price was great and I make gnome beards out of this faux fur. So it works really well for fur. I got it on Amazon and I can't remember what it was called, but I think it was under a rug category because it was much cheaper. Whoa, whoa. To cut anything out of this fur, you cut it from the backside with like type of like X-Acto knife or one of these box cutter type knives. And you just cut through the backing and then it's going to leave you with chunks of fur if you cut gently if you scissor cut it you're going to cut off all the pieces as you go and then you can trim as needed practice booth before and this is like one trimmed you can use electric beard trimmer type of thing or scissors to trim it up here is kind of trimmed and here's that and this could be even trimmed more and then at some other parts i'm just going to cut off the fur itself and use like make little hair whiffs out of it and glue it accordingly. Cross fingers. I'm so okay. I have these two ear pieces for him, and then I'm gonna go somewhere in this zone. 
some more in this zone. Tacky glue. I'm going to use tacky glue to adhere it. So we have some ear pieces. We also have, I cut some like strips out because he has hair that kind of goes like this. Oh, we can make him a punk felcor. Yeah. That's nice. Elko also has some beautiful eyelashes we're going to use, as well as he has some like sparing little long eyebrow hairs or whatnot. So we'll add a little bit of those. And sequins. When they punch a sequin, they leave all the little, the whole bits. But that's going to be perfect, I think, for this part of his head. When you make some hair whips, you can take a like parchment paper or plastic and glue them into sections but i think for him i'm going to just glue them straight to his face all right guys wish me luck i'm gonna start with his mustache <laughs> he looks something right now <laughs> he's funny looking so this is this mod podge mud Pudge, and I think he has some fur right there, but short fur. In this zone, let's see if we can grab some of these sparkles. So we glued on. <laughs> He's really funny. He, he looks like a Jim Hansen character. We're very fuzzy right now, but we'll let it dry more and then we'll trim more. But I trimmed his little mohawk down a little bit. <laughs> I think he's getting, you know, I think he's getting there. I like him. I attached his head just with Tin foil, there's wire underneath here so I could get the placement I want. Tin foil, hot glue, and then I'm gonna cover that with the paper mache. I did it off camera because it was very precarious and tricky to do. He's gonna be kind of in this position, and I'm happy with that. And then I can work on the rest of his body, adding more hair, more sequins, more everything I need. I attached Falcor and He's looking a little funny back there, but that's still wet paper mache type stuff. I'm going to add the fur along his neck, around his body, and keep adding fur to where I want it on his face. And he might need a couple more eyelashes and definitely more sequins. What I want to do now is... I'm gonna add fur to all the spots. This area is gonna be sequins and fur mixed together. Um, and this area is just gonna be fur. I'm gonna take pieces of my fur and kind of cut it up into flocking, cover it with glue and just apply it. I like doing this because this fur is kind of scraggly rather than just gluing on pieces of the rug. I just don't think it's gonna do the look I, I want. I like the idea of gluing the fur, like flocking straight to Felcor's body. I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't think it's gonna translate well on camera because it's white on white. And then I will come back and show you what I did. So we got some more fur on, still a little disheveled, but I wanna start working in some sequins. Some places have thicker fur and places have lighter fur and more of the scales. Let me see if I can get a little further along here and then be able to show it. What I did was did a mixture of the sequins and the hair and I might need to touch up a little bit because I don't want those like little string holes showing as much as possible but I feel like that's gonna get the idea across. Again it would have been best to have tear shaped sequins but I didn't have those and this is what I'm going with and I think it's gonna work.
All right, we have some more headway with the fur and the sparkles. I did a little trim on the tail and I'll keep trimming as I go to neaten up. Hi everyone, so it's been a few days. I actually went to my parents' house to get another little mini visit before school starts. And my mom and I worked on a project that she was working on. She's also an artist. And I also worked on Falcor some. So here's Falcor. So far, we've got the scales, the sparkly scales. And we've worked on both sides. I need to add more fur here. And I need to trim all the little bits that are flying off him. And then once Falcor is done, I will work on the background for him. So I love him. My name is Falcor. Today I'm going to work on the inside of the diorama. I'm going to take a break from Falcor and work on his finishing touches after I finish this diorama. So here's his box where he's going to be displayed. This is one side of the book, and then I'm going to have another side of the book over here. Imagine like an open book, and he will be the top layer on the second page of the book. So he's going to be up here in my finished diorama piece, and this is going to be a book. So if you watch, like and subscribe, and you'll see where this is going in the end. So I have the box, Falcor's box, and I'm going to make a piece back here because I want to add some lighting, and I'm going to make a little piece. If you hear a sound in the background, that's just my, my laser cutter fan. So I'm going to make a laser cutter piece with a bunch of like pinhole holes in it. In the scene that I want to display Falcor in, it's kind of like a starry night. I'm gonna cut a piece so it fits in here and then I, everything is gonna be painted a base of black. So let's get started with that. This is gonna be a pretty simple background. Let's get that piece cut, oh, beat myself up, add some lights, paint everything black. Let's do it. We got my star pieces. It's just little holes cut out of the wood. I've got my little lights, easy on off. Our box is put together with a bazillion clamps on it. And that's all I'm going for. Just a subtle light effect. Everything is black and I want to get some of this rock formation. I am going to build up some areas with tin foil. I'm gonna make area where the gnomics live. In the movie, the medicine woman heals them with some of her medicine and the husband is a scientist and they live in this area and this is before Atreyu takes his journey through the gates. So this all looks a little funny now, right now, but what I'm going to do is take some of my same tissue paper, cover everything with a glue, water, and black paint mixture, and see where I want to add more textures after that. We have our initial basic landscape. I'm gonna go ahead and get some color in some of these rocks. I'm just gonna go back and forth with different shades. We are looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna just add a few more layers of the mountain texture in, just because I wanna add some more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera because this is the same idea. And then I'll show you my progress shortly. I'm adding a little foliage and a little bit of wooden pieces to the Nomix house just so it looks like if you happen to glance in that area, it looks like it's a little lived in home. I'm adding a little more details to Falcor, adding some eyebrow hairs and a few eyelashes and then I'm going to Add a little bit more fur in here just because I think he needs a little bit more fur on his face and then I'll go ahead and trim where it needs to be trimmed. I think I'm gonna call it. I'm going to kind of stare at it for a day and see if I want to add in more more tweaks. Let's see if we can 
we have some lights tricky to see but there's some lights feel like Falcor and his scenery is pretty much done as this is an ongoing project as I have my whole series here I can always make tweaks in the future as well for right now I'm gonna call Falcor done Thank you for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe and comment below. I love to hear your thoughts and ring that bell so you know when the next chapter of my never ending story diorama series is coming out. Fall season is right around the corner and I'm planning on some spooky crafts as well. Time for the photo shoot. Let's go Falcor.